And we are back. We got the full crew in the house. That is what it's all about. The Yankees out of any team in the league are the best equipped to handle a blow like this. I think there is a higher power at play here. He's due law of averages. That dude is the ultimate scrub. <laughs> it's trash. <laughs> yeah. Every person you have in there is fucking trash. Next game, you're going to see a big, big, big performance. You can see it in the end of the game, and I'm just totally stoked and excited for this. Bang, bang. Welcome to another edition of the Sports Four, and today it is the Barnes Tony and Producer Michael. Show. Hey, how we doing, fellas? Dude, I'm doing great. Totally stoked to be back on the couch today. Here, um, how do you enjoy the couch, dude? Oh, I actually really like it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's comfortable it, for him. It, it's good it, on the tushy. Different couch, obviously, yeah. but it kind of gives me seven hundred episodes. I know, dude. What a great episode that was in the boathouse. I know. With the monitor wall. Um, but it's dope, dude. The couch is a great vibe. Like 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 Mike said, it's it's definitely softer on the body. Um, and I just feel like it's nice tonight. Yes, baby. Uh, wasn't played as often as we would have liked last (laughs) night. Might not be the time, but nonetheless, dude. Who cares? You're a real fan. You push through the losses, but, baby. But I have to say, I'm at a point with the uh, the Rangers where I'm like just as tight. Um, it won nothing Padres, by the way. Mm-hmm. It's like, was that a foul ball or a double play? Okay, that was just an out. But anyway, after three, uh, Padres lead one nothing. Uh, Xander Bogarts RBI single. Um, <laughs> nice Bogarts, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they said he struggled with the fastball. I think it was a fastball. Fucking that he glass now center. up, dude. Um. But I, I just – every loss just gets me. I don't know. It's just hard for me not to be tight. I, I can't put it in perspective. I just don't have that ability. Um. Yeah, I mean, that's tough, dude. I mean, I feel like – listen, Winnipeg, I know maybe – No, they're a good team. They're, I know. They're a great I team. Um, off- offensively, you know, obviously, um, you know, Scheifele, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle Connors as well. But Hellbuck can a hell of a game. We'll probably get into it in a little yeah. bit. But, you know, I, I, we are down two of our best defensemen Sorry, right now. Man. Um, and it was, you know, it was a three, two game with a minute and a half to go in the third period. It wasn't like, you know, I think Renee bright and early. Yeah. Um, so I think, you know, to put it in perspective, I mean, it's, it's one of the better teams in the league playoff or, you know, it's playoff series, not playoff one off games here. So, but is um, it, is it short sighted of me to say though, regardless of all that could have just done it. Well, yeah, of course. But it's like you're not going to um, win every game. You're not going to win every game. And, I mean, there are going to be some times um, where you are playing a goaltender who's just on fire like Hellebuck. I mean, you know, Trocek had a phenomenal, like, like uh, opportunity last night off of, like, a six saucer pass by Panarin. Almost looked like, honestly, a goal that Panarin had off of Trocek's saucer pass a few games ago. Um, even Lafreniere had some great one-timer opportunities. We saw him actually net. Um, you know, a game, uh, the goal towards the end from the Rangers that looked like maybe they were coming back. Um, you know, you were in the situation of of almost getting there, but you were just, you know, stopped yes, by Connor Tony, Hellebuck. Yes. He had just a great game, um, and he, he stopped. He was a big reason why the Jets were able to stop the Rangers. But now, go to Boston tomorrow. Yeah, different game, different team. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, again, the Rangers are, are, are down a few guys. It's nothing they haven't been around before though you know we, we yeah. talked about it this season early on they were down fox they've been down you know they were down Kako for a little bit they were even down Truba, um you know earlier in the season as well so you know they're used to this they can go into the, to, to boston to the td garden they know what the brewing the type of team is very good um, and they've there. gotten to their goaltenders before and it's, it's just a matter of of kind of you know taking one game at a time and winning those little battles and you know they'll be fine yeah yeah, absolutely, and we'll do a full breakdown in a little bit. Yes, Tons comments, of comments, Obviously. and then we can get to our bracket reveal. Sorry, tight show today, baby. Tight show. Earning. Early and often. All righty then, JB boys. We have JB saying, "Let's go, early birds get the worm." Live regular season baseball Bang. is upon us. How do you guys feel about the drafted draft? Fuck. Hashtag, oh, TCA, um, hashtag sports board, yeah. hashtag DDV. I mean, I, a I, a I, double I, on a throwaway, though, Tony? I know it's a the double? game of the season, but come on. Yeah, that is kind of tough, Cronenworth, I think? Cronenworth. Sure. Ah. Tight. Uh, but Josh B is the um, best. Let's yeah, he that. is the best, dude. The draft, I think, went pretty well last night. I mean, you know, it was for the first time, I was, eh, it's fine, dude. I mean, it's going to be fun. a long season. Um, you know, what there, were the there's, thoughts there's on the pickups Alvarez, and stuff though. like that. Um, what do you mean? Searching. No, I meant just that, like, you know, I mean, I would say you probably could have went 
five rounds later. You really think wow. so? Yeah. Five rounds? Yeah. I mean, I don't know, man. I, I don't know, man. I, I think he was going to go. Position, I think is 150 or 160. And I think you took him 91. Really? Yeah. I could have sworn that it wasn't too far off. Yeah, Maybe everybody took catchers early. They, yeah. I just took a hop in the last round. I, I was going to say, I thought, I'm pretty sure I saw a lot of catchers go off the board. Like, everybody um, gets antsy with the catchers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, dude, he's, he's going to have a big no, year. No, no, no. Obviously, yes, Alvarez will have a big year. So it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm I still, think you could have you know, waited a little bit. Yeah, right. maybe. But, um, you know, he missed some other opportunities. So he had a strike when the iron was hot there, Barnes. True. Dude, I feel like there were guys that I had lined up to get, and I feel like every round, like, okay, like, I have this guy lined up to get next round, and then he'd get he'd get take, taken. Oh, yeah. Literally. Yeah, yeah. I, I was fortunate. I thought that was going to happen with Anthony Volpe, yeah. but I was able to get him. Uh, for my no, literally, like, Manny was talking about how, like, the, the people were listening to us, because I was saying it, obviously, on the oh, show. Yeah. And then people were like, oh, like, I'm, I'm not going to pick up that Especially guy. Especially Riley. talking yeah, about Especially him, Riley. Riley, would Riley the rat. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely that. probably was like Riley the asshole. rat. What the fuck, dude? Um, let's continue. Shout out. Yeah, let's um, continue. Let's go. Let's rip it. Rip it. Just rip missed it. it. I just, oh, I just saw someone follow us on TikTok. Yeah, I'm sorry. Up? TikTok. Um, Matthew Gabriel says, yes. Matthew. He says, let's go. And then he says, brother Josh, what up, bro? Josh replies. He says, Matty G. And then we've got, he goes, what up, guys? Josh B. Correcting himself. Pogman7, join from TikTok. Y'all are Let's cool go. dudes. Let's go. Up, Pogman? Let's go. Thanks, man. Let's go, Kevdu says. We want the smoke early show, guys. I, I didn't, didn't even start, start work, work yet. yet. Oh. And then Hel, uh, um, Pogman7 says, Hel Helly taking, taking the, the Vez, Vez trophy. Possibly, Matthew dude. with the Kevdu to continue. Look at this. I, I thought he Tatis. almost did this on purpose. Look at this. Oh, I guess not. But it just it, when you looked at it from afar, because it's a tag up, so it's yeah, like yeah, almost yeah. like, but it, now it's an out. But I don't know. Right. Would you let it go foul? If because I feel like that's an auto tag up. Yeah, definitely, definitely would be. Um, that's tough. I didn't see it on the wide. Was it that far over though? Like no, no, it, it was like pretty close. It. Yeah, I thought it just hit off the top of the wall. Honestly. Oh wow, dude. Jason Hayward battling, as you would say, a or, or Matthew. Is that a Matthew? Battle. I definitely, think. yes. yes. <laughs> definitely a Matthew. Oh, uh, one a and battle. two here on Jason Hayward. Uh, Teoscar Hernandez in third. One out in the top of the fourth. Uh, did we catch up on all the comments, Michael? Yes, and what world should we go to? Uh, no world. Is not just bracket? Right to the bracket. Wow. The bracket. And I feel like right you're now, a so veteran at this yep, point. Veteran. Like I don't even need to, as it looks like Hayward. <laughs> uh, we'll tie the game. But you're a veteran in terms of, like, you know what you're doing here or no? Are you talking bracket to me? Wise? Michael, I'm saying. Of as course, uh, the brother. Dodgers tie the game at one. Oh, yeah, that was definitely. Tyler Wade, dude, that threw that ball away. I didn't even know he was on the bottom. Oh, really, dude? Yeah. At least I guess I got some speed there, huh? Um, yeah, and some bad defense. Yeah. <laughs> that's why they scored. But, I mean, 1-1 one, one game. Mm -hmm. It's all right. You know. 72 pitches, and he's giving Darvish the hook. Wait, really? It looks like it. Why else would the man? How many? 72. Damn, yo. Um... But yeah, great music, Michael. Great music. Actually, Michael, can you share the tab, though? Because I think sometimes the audio gets wonky if you don't have it shared in. Yeah, dude. They go lights out for the pitching team. Couldn't, like, a fan, like, jump on the field and, like, assault the pitcher? Um, I mean, I guess they, can, they could do that, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like the, the lights yeah. all the way off. Like, they've been doing that a lot with, like, home runs and stuff. It's a little nuts. That is kind of crazy, I guess, so. Yeah. Anything could happen with the lights off. But I don't know. You think they're... I think there's like a lot of fans who like storm the field I over mean, there in not, Korea. Not everybody, but you know how it's like yeah, 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 yeah. everybody's gotta be that guy right, these right, days, right. you know. So you never know. There we go, baby. Now I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good. Um, feeling we spicy. Have feeling the ESPN crazy dude. Account signed in. No. Um the account Definitely no, but I, I think I had the bracket pulled up, I thought. No. You had the bracket pulled up. Yeah, I like to fill the bracket out. Mm, he did not. Um, all right, we'll just open it up, Michael. It's no big deal. Just, just go saying. to ESPN. NCAA men's right there. Uh, 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 tournament right there. challenge. Yeah, tournament challenge. Yeah, better. Let's go, baby. Okay, we could just jump right into it. Yeah, I mean, that's the plan, right? Can we share this? Top, thing, I guess? Top yeah, left. we got to share it. Oh, well, definitely. I, I got to get the music out of there, baby. Ah. All right. Let's see what happens. 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 Bang, just like that, dude. Top left, I think, was UConn Stetson. Are we, are we gonna go with the early upset already? Oh uh, no! Are you crazy? You kind of all the way, baby. We're not making that mistake. You guys did that last time. We're I not know, doing that. that was, I know. That kind was of so, funny, dude. And we didn't so win. Yeah. Because of that. Kind of crazy. So the year we picked, it was a little early. 
Yeah, that was tough. So this um, year, so go, obviously, you kind of over Stetson. Do you? Um, Mike, are we live on Instagram? Ooh, daddy. Yes. Okay, word. Um, and then we have the 8-9 matchup of FAU versus Northwestern. Um, just from the onset here, um, I, I like FAU. Um, I mean, Florida Atlantic, uh, hey, why not? Dude? Think, Me my, too. My, I was uh, going to go there. My cousin's going to go there. So, All right, cool. Yeah, that's true. Uh, next matchup, San Diego State versus, versus UAB. San Diego, I know we like 12 over 5 specifically, but San Diego State uh, did play in the national title game against Utah last mm -hmm. season. Um, so I think we go save our upset for the next pick and go with the Hokies. I miss that. Loving it. Or the Aztecs. Um, sorry. The yeah, Aztecs. I guess. So what, what is UAB? What, 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 uh, what's their mascot? Yeah, like what are they? Like where, I don't even know where they are. I mean, they're 12. Right. Hey, you know, just yeah. one of those like teams, middle and conference. Yeah, so go San Diego. Yeah, got it, dude. And then we're doing a Connecticut feel here. Yeah, baby. Yale over, over Auburn. Auburn. Skull These and bones. Type of picks you have to make. Um, Next pick here, as the, we go to the uh, bottom of the fourth year. Is that one. Duquesne versus BYU? Yeah, BYU dude? will win by 30. Really? Uh, I'm probably going to hammer that game. Yeah. All right, fine. So, BYU. The uh, and then fine. we got to go Illinois over Moorhead State. Have to, dude. Um, Washington State? You know, I, I think so. I think so. Yeah. I was thinking about Drake, but let's go Washington State. And then, yeah, well, we're not going to take South Dakota State, so we'll go with Iowa State. Love Iowa. Uh, and then we got to go other side of the bracket, Michael. Houston yeah, I like versus that. Longwood. Okay, obviously we uh, go Houston. Five minutes on Longwood, anyone. Stop. Uh, um, Nebraska, the hot, the Cornhuskers? No, give me Texas A&M, the Dude. SEC. Uh, I think Nebraska sucks. All right. What do you think? Uh, and then here's that? a big one, too, and I don't mean to I mean, I would say Nebraska, so that would make Michael the tiebreaker, dude. All right, yeah. Michael the tiebreaker, <sighs> go. Honestly, no, no hard feelings here. <laughs> but, but make the right choice. Yeah, but make the right choice. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go historically. We're gonna go schedule. We're gonna go conference. We're gonna go no knowledge in this guy's brain of basketball whatsoever. Talking to me? Talking about you? I know about Nebraska. <laughs> I know Nebraska, dude. We're gonna go Texas A and M. Let's baby. go. Let's go. And then this That's is bad, one dude. of the most popular upset picks. We have to do it. The twelve seed James Madison over Wisconsin. Um, and then, I mean, I know Duke in the past has gotten mm -hmm. into trouble in the first round at times. But Vermont, yeah, come on, come on. Dude. They're gonna be, Even though Vermont did upset Syracuse way back when, I know Doesn't Michael matter, remembers that. Doesn't matter, dude. Uh, this yeah, is a different time. A different time. Give me Duke. Vermont. Um, and then we go with Chokery's alma mater in NC State. Definitely. Yeah. Five in five days. Um, good run there. Yep. Kentucky, too much for Oakland. Mm -hmm. No, I agree with that. And then um, this matchup <sighs> between Boise State, Colorado. I like the 10 seed here. I don't know what you think. We can go to Michael with the tiebreaker if you disagree. <laughs> I would say give me the Gators, dude. <laughs> Michael? Um, Yeah, we're going. I don't like a team that has the Boise slash forward okay. slash Colorado right. in their All name. All right, go Florida. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, He's right. tight. And then we got to go Marquette. Too much for Western Kentucky. I mean, you're doing your own bracket, right? Are you, no, I'm just are like, just so I could see it. No, oh, yeah, I was just wondering if you yeah. were. No, no, I, I was just following along. Uh, Purdue, obviously, one seed, going to take them. Definitely. Um, And then another 8-9, Utah State TCU. I like Utah State. Um, Again. I know Tony to likes here. TCU. I already could tell. No, no, it's a Utah. I'm down. No, 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 it's Utah. Utah. Um, Utah. And uh, all right, so we'll go with Utah State. And then uh, I think Gonzaga easily over McNeese. I mean, is that serious? I know, like, Gonzaga. <laughs> no, no, I, I knew McNeese. I mean, Give me five minutes. Gonzaga's not going to lose in yeah. the first round. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not the first round. Maybe second round against Kansas. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe second round. Kansas lose first round. They're players you out for so? the whole tournament, by the way. Inside information. No best kidding. Player. It's, is it actually inside information? <laughs> no, well, I'm saying you didn't know it, so technically it is. Oh, okay. But it's not like this hasn't been revealed yet. Uh, No, they just announced it yesterday. Oh, okay. Uh, but like I said, uh, he knows nothing. This but guy. I'm saying, do we kind of? Oh, you know what? We'll save the upset for next time. Go, go, Kansas. I think they can win at least one game here. Are you sure? Yeah. You, are you sure about that? Yes, because I like the upset. Right. Pac-12 champs in Oregon. Pac-10. What's what's Pac Sanford though? Champs. You know anything about Sanford? Pac no, but they're scrolls. Right. Scrubs. Yeah. Go scrolls. Kansas. Scrubs. Go Kansas. <laughs> We're going Kansas, dude. The Masters. Uh, Gamecocks. Yeah. No. No. Oregon. The upset again. Mm, we the can Ducks. Go both, Good facility. Pac-12 tournament win. Uh, so we'd like that. Um, I feel give me Akron over Creighton. My vote's Creighton, Michael. Cyberger. Um, yeah, Creighton. Totally. Yeah, too much. No, for no Ohio, baby. 
Akron, Ohio. And then the know, next dude. game we saw Colorado <laughs> State lay a beating last night on Virginia. Um, I kind of like the upset here, so I guess that would be my vote. Again, we can go to the tiebreaker if you're thinking Texas. You're thinking Texas, Michael. They can't see me. Uh, I'm doing Longhorns. Yeah, I was going to say, Michael okay. probably just wants to do the Longhorns. And then St. Peter's, you know, we know about the Rappers run, uh, but not against Tennessee. Yeah, all right. Let's, let's go. Um, so I that gets us out of the first round. Uh, no, we, go we got the left side, baby. No, but that was the first round, Michael. Now we go to the round of 32. What about? Oh, I guess I didn't realize that we did. Wow, okay. Hey, I mean, there you wow. go, Michael. That's, that's on me. Uh, um, yeah, definitely not Wagner. No, Tony, stop. Don't even embarrassing. That. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Nice win last night. In bad. I don't know. Crazy. I don't know though. No, no, you don't win a bracket picking a 16 seed. It's happened twice out of what 500 times. It's not gonna happen. What do you think, Tony? Do I you want to win the I, grand prize or no? I mean, I'm gonna go for Staten. I'm voting for Staten. Okay. Well, I'm voting for North Carolina, Michael, and I know you're gonna say the Tar Heels. So I don't even need to ask Michael. Just pencil that in. He's not gonna do it. Uh no 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 no. no. <laughs> we would never do it, dude. Um, and then I like Tom Izzo and Michigan State over Mississippi State again. If Tony's tight, we'll no no no, I'm, I'm down for Michigan. You know Spartans, the pedigree Izzo yeah, yeah. been coached there since 2000. Um, as Kim is up, no outs, runner on first. Um, so St. Mary's Grand Canyon, you know, 12-5 is typically you know a power pick for the upset, but I like St. Mary's here. Uh, what do you think, Tony? Uh, let's go, Mother Mary. All right, Mother exactly. Mary. Um, and then Alabama, Charleston, uh, you know, I, I like the upset better in the next matchup. So my vote's Alabama here. What do, what do you think? Um, I don't really, I mean, I'm going to go with Charleston. I figure I, I see Alabama blow it. Austin. Charleston's a nice place. Um, it is a great there? place. It is. I've been there. Yes. And you too. Love Charleston. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. We, we should go down there together. We, oh, yeah. we definitely will. Area. Oh, you know, it's all Mia over it. Yeah. The last, the last time I was there, it was mm -hmm. me, uh, Chokery, Sam and my sister. And we stayed at one. I thought like you would have liked it. Right. It was like one of those like old school, like townhouses, but part of a time show. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Pretty cool. And yeah, then, uh, what like is that. it? Smoky bones, very mm -hmm. good ribs. Oh my god, the ribs, yeah. dude! I get a house some barbecue right now. Oh dude. yeah. Um. All right. So, uh, Michael, your vote there was. Uh, did you say Charleston or no? Um, you're the tiebreaker here. I'm saying what? Oh, hold on a second. Oh, oh, roll tie, baby. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you, Tony. Um. Thank all you. right, and then um. How Clemson, about New Mexico? You Rick want New Patino's Mexico? Son, Richard, head coach in New Mexico. Give me uh, New Mexico here with the upset. Um, Clemson, not a powerhouse for basketball. Yeah, I guess. I knew someone who played for New Mexico. So we take the so 11 seed there. Um, I think Baylor wins by 30 over Colgate. Hammer it. Baylor. Um, and then I believe Steve Alfred as well. The Padres have the bases loaded. Nobody out. Let's fucking Let's go. Let's go, Tony. baby. Um, and then we have Dayton in Nevada. Steve Alfred, the former um, coach of UCLA here. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of like Nevada here. Uh, which, what's your pick? 10 over 7. I know. That's a tough one, dude. Um, I mean, Nevada. Yeah, I know. I would go Dayton. Let's go Dayton. Dayton and Michael for the tiebreaker. Uh oh, boy. Pressure's on, Michael. Vegas. Nevada. Let's go. All right, next up, Arizona, the two seed versus Long Beach Long Beach State. State. I don't know if you saw this. They fired seed. their coach. He stayed on. They won the Oh, yeah. To make the NCAA. Yeah, no, this is the run. Wait, it really? It would be insane. But yeah, I, no, they, he's fired, do just, technically. Do we just go for it? Yeah. I mean, it would be absolutely ridiculous. Wait, what do you mean they fired him, but he yeah. stays yeah, on? Yeah, because what sometimes, like, they finish out the year, and yeah, he yeah. said, I, I'll stay on, and they're fine with it. So, and then he won the conference tournament, and now, like, they're in the NCAA. That's kind of crazy. Tatis with the bases loaded, Tony. <sighs> I mean, were they? Oh, let's fucking go to Tatis, baby. That's your boy on the or, no, it's right? <laughs> he Doesn't he look like him, though? Tell me that does not look like him. Tony Stein. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay, I have him in another league. Um, uh, but, no, I'm mean, pretty pumped about do it. Do we get crazy i mean i'm i'm i, mean, I don't know two against a 15 here i, I mean, saw that story i think it's with, gonna happen is, is long beach were they always good or were they absolutely trash no no they long haven't beach. been good the last couple years they haven't been good which why would they, they fire their coach tournament in like seven eight i'm years. just asking Michael. like what are those questions though um you don't know shit about long beach bro stop it or long um <laughs> yeah i mean let's do it dude if you think so 
I'll hammer Long oh, Beach. Oh, and it looks like a double play, but it will give uh, the Padres uh, the lead. Uh, as or does Arizona one. just absolutely smack them? They probably <sighs> absolutely smack them. Honestly, let's let's win. Let's win the bracket instead of just getting with like them. I just think that's it's a little crazy. Anyway, but we can go to vote. But my vote is Arizona. Let's go Arizona. Yeah. Right. So that'll bring us finally to the round of sixty-four, Michael. Mm-hmm. Um, and starting at the top, obviously UConn over FAU. That goes without question. Mm-hmm. I um, like the upset of, with Yale here. Continue the run, Sweet 16. Connecticut versus Connecticut. Definitely. Has, have to do it. Yeah, but Michael's you, are, in on it. You're, you're playing you're for the win, silenced, though. That is the win. Yeah. All right, dude. Let's get Yale then. Yale to the Sweet 16. Dude, skull and bones. Uh, and then I like BYU over Illinois. Uh, what's your vote there, Tony? Oh, let's go BYU. Yeah, down. he likes that. All I right. I like BYU. And can Tyler Wade make up for his error in the first, bring home a run? Uh, I'm going to say Washington State here. What, uh, right, what's Mikey. your vote, Michael? Washington. Let's go. And what do we got further down? Right, we can go further down this time. North uh, Carolina. Yeah, I like North Carolina. Mm-hmm. And then I like St. Mary's over Alabama. Yeah, I like that too. Bama gone. Uh, I like New Mexico over Baylor. Tony, give me Baylor. Michael, Richard, he knows it. Uh, and then. <laughs> I like. Give me Nevada, honestly. <laughs> um. Oh God, dude, that's. that's uh, it's man, Tyler Wade strikes yeah, out too. something Yankee fans are very familiar with. Well, that's not looking angry, dude. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Got out of the jam though. Bases loaded, nobody out. And we're on to the other side of the bracket here. Uh, I like Houston over Texas A&M. Yeah, let's do it. My vote here is James Madison over Duke. What do you think? Tony? Uh, no, give me Duke. Michael. Yes. Mm. Uh, and Sorry, then guys. Kentucky will beat NC brag, State. No, you're not. Uh, inside information, Michael Butka, I think she's gonna, they're going to make it to the national championship game. So, Who, Kentucky? Yeah. So my pick is Kentucky. Uh, I'm down with Kentucky too, but their head coach, crazy man. Uh, I like Marquette over Florida. Yeah, all right. Let's go Marquette. And then further down. Uh, all right. Purdue. I, Purdue, yep. <sighs> Kansas without the best player. Give me Mark Few. Uh, That's Gonzaga. right, yeah. Uh, and then I like Oregon over Creighton. I would say give me Creighton. Michael? He likes the, the ducks. ducks. Quack, 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 quack. Yep. Mr. Ducks. ducks. Uh, and then I like Texas over Tennessee. Agree with that. Agree, Longhorns. So we got some double-digit seeds here in the Sweet 16. Uh, that gets us to the Sweet 16, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. UConn over Yale. And mm-hmm. then um, I would say uh, I, I like BYU. Yeah, give me Battle of the Blue. Battle blue, bitch. And then uh, North Carolina. Oh no, we, did we like not? Why is it like that? We go down. Did we miss something? Mm, oh no, no, that's right. Okay, yeah, so yeah. The, what's? <clears throat> so yeah, we're all good. Okay, so it's Nevada. Bro? Okay, oh right. Okay, I got it. So it's the Nevada New Mexico game, right? Is the mm-hmm. next pick, or is it North no, no, Carolina? No, North Carolina St. Mary's. I don't know why it looks weird. Okay, anyway, uh, North Carolina. <laughs> Uh, yes, North Carolina. And then uh, <clears throat> I like Richard, honestly. Mexico. I mean, I said he was going to lose already, so. <laughs> <laughs> he said he was losing first round. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, no, I didn't. Not Clem- no, I didn't. Not, 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 uh, Houston, James Madison? I Second think, round. I think Houston. Don't I? Yeah, Houston. Okay. I'm down with that. Kentucky, Kentucky Marquette. Kentucky for Michael. Kentucky, yes. Let's go. <clears throat> for Michael Buckter, that is. Uh, Purdue, and then, Gonzaga. Uh, Gonzaga. Purdue blows it. They lost to fairly Dickinson last year. Doesn't matter, dude. Back with Avengers. Give me Purdue. Michael with the tiebreaker. Don't do it. Who's Michael. the coach for Gonzaga? Fucking Mark Few. Oh. Yeah, Mark Few wins. <laughs> oh, God. What do you got in there? Cold, Cold brew. brew. Oh, mate, yeah. That's oh, nice. Oh, mate. Oh, um, Mookie? Yeah, 0 oh, 2. Um, Cameron, love fit. that. Damn, I think I'm going to go Gonzaga. They have this history. They've Let's done go, it. They've Michael. been there. Produce choke artist, Matt Painter. Um, <laughs> all right. Oregon, Oregon, Texas. Oregon, continue the Cinderella run. Quack, quack, quack. All right, we'll go Texas. It's fine. Tony's tight. Uh, all right, crazy. next one. <laughs> next one, Michael. Right here, North Carolina, New Mexico. Oh, really? No, wait, is there nothing on the bottom? Oh, okay, well, Michael is on top of it. We'll yeah, go to UConn, so, then. I guess we'll go to the top. Well, obviously, right. UConn, UConn, easy. UConn, yep. And then uh you think Kentucky really going? Kentucky, honestly? Yep. Yeah. All right. Battle of the blue again. And now 
Yep. yep okay, they're in the yep. final four now. Um, all right, North Carolina. Carolina. And then do we continue Dana Altman's Cinderella run to the final four? I think so. Right? I would say if it, if it is this matchup, I would say Gonzaga would win this. Uh, my vote's quack, quack. My I'm vote's quacking. We're quacking. quacking. You both right. are going to be quacking. So all the way final the four of UConn, North Carolina, Kentucky, and Oregon. So two number one seeds. I think that's like a good way to go about it because yeah. obviously four never make it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, UConn. And then following Michael Bucca's lead with Kentucky. Kentucky, Battle of Blue. Yeah. what you say? And then UConn, your champs. Yeah. Let's go. Submit bracket. And that is. Oh, how many points? Uh, so oh, I total. Think, oh, they asked for the total. You oh, think wow. about this usually, you know, big stadium shootings down, scorings down. So I'm gonna say 138. I don't know what really? you guys think. I was thinking like 142. Michael, 40. There we go. That's the literally median. as in the uh, Cosgrove uh, running into trouble here. Otani up, nobody out, one on. Uh, I his Otani wife has one in for the crowd. One. That was his wife. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Um, and that we're submitted. We're in the contest. We're all good here. Well, let's go, it like dude. It. We're in there, baby. Congrats. And you picked how do you we, uh, and You're signed in on this, right? Tony signed in. It looks okay. like. Okay. Okay. Word. Yeah. yeah if you let's say go, so. Fellas. Looks let's like I'm gonna leave it up. Uh, yeah, yeah, leave it up. Don't, don't get exactly. underway tomorrow don't as Otani lines out here to Tyler Wade. A uh, one out here in the top of the fifth. Padres leading two one. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, now we're gonna do the Valspar Championship preview. This oh, good uh, PGA tournament starting tomorrow, uh, and this is coming from Innisbrook, Florida, or Innisbrook Resort uh, in Palm Harbor, Florida. Um, and this is where Domac uh, was just on vacation. Um, and you know, you this is actually one of the tougher courses on tour. A similar uh, field, they have like a couple holes that, like you know, how they had the bear trap mm -hmm. on the Cosmic Classic. Um, same thing here. Um, but if you look at historically, last year Taylor Moore won at ten under. You had Crazy. Sam Burns go back to back twenty one and twenty two at seventeen under playoff uh, the second time, and then we saw uh, no tournament in twenty twenty. Paul Casey won back to back twenty eighteen twenty nineteen. So kind of interesting. Four straight tournaments had back to back winners, which is kind of crazy. Um, and then before that, Adam Hadwin, 14 under, Charles Schwartzel, 7 under, Jordan Speak back in 2015, 10 under par. So scoring not too crazy here. Uh, and you look at the yardage, uh, 7,340 yards. Uh, so decent length here. Uh, prize fund looks like it's at $8.4 million. Um, and if we go to PGA Tour.com power rankings, um, it, it shows us that we have uh Justin Thomas actually as the favorite, uh, which is kind of interesting. Um, to see if he could turn it around. Obviously, Sam Burns, the top contender, having um, you know, won this tournament twice. Xander Shoffley, uh, coming off the tied second, uh, mm -hmm. the l last week. Uh, you got Brian Harmon, <clears throat> the former Open champion, I believe he was um, tied for second last week as well. Uh, Maverick McNeely, uh, Jordan Spieth, a former champion here. Nick Taylor, um, you got Tony Fee now as Cosgrove hits Freddie Freeman, uh, two on, one out. Um, and then we have Cameron Young, Doug Him, who chipped in, I believe, on 17 last week. Uh, Taylor Moore, Adam Hadwin, Eric Cole, Victor Perez, Adam Shank, um, also Keegan Bradley in the field, Luke Donald, uh, the former Ryder Cup cabin, uh, Christian Besenholt, uh, just to give you an idea of a couple other names here. Um, and when you think about who's in the field, I think it's a decent field for sure. Um, but it does seem like for the most part, um, you know, we've had rep, you know, reputable names win this tournament. Um, mm -hmm. and maybe Taylor Moore is the outlier, but Burns, Casey, Hadwin, Charles Schwarzschild, the former Masters champion, and we know all about Jordan <clears throat> Spieth. Um, so kind of a bunch of different ways to go. And I think when we <clears> talked <throat> earlier in the week, Tony, you were saying, um, you liked Xander to get the job done. Yeah. Has anything changed on that front? Um, <clears throat> I mean, I was thinking Justin Thomas, but honestly, like, I mean, yeah, we were talking about it earlier. I think, I think I'm, I'm still going to stick, stick with Xander. I say he gets over that hump, gets another win here. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of interesting looking at the past results of this tournament. It seems a little scattered sometimes, right? Um, in terms of like how well players are doing, um, but it seems like you know the weather is going to be pretty solid. So, um, you know, maybe Xander, give me I don't know, twelve under, twelve under. Yeah, yeah. seems about right. Respectable. Historically. Mm -hmm. Um, 
you know, and obviously depends, um, you know, on weather and just like early, late, late, early, that mm -hmm. type of thing. Um, and then any sense for you um, with a sleeper? Ah, kind of tough, dude. I mean, I think I'm going to go with a sleeper that I picked before, maybe a couple of weeks ago, and Andrew Novak. There we um, go. I feel like that guy has just been lingering um, on the scorecard um, really ever since, I guess, what, what, um, the Genesis invitation, I want to say, um, is when he had like a top 10 finish. Um, and then again, like I said, hanging around every so often, always obviously a heavy underdog. So, um, give me the Andrew Novak, man. All right. Uh, and I am going to go, uh, with a golfer that I saw win tournament firsthand last year in oh. Keegan Bradley. Um, and you look at his history at this tournament, I think a few missed cuts, but finished second. Um, I think it was two years ago. There we go. Um, hasn't played great this year, but I feel like this is an opportunity uh, for him to return to the world uh, winner's circle. Um, obviously, some animosity of being left off the Ryder Cup uh, team. And, you know, mm -hmm. he spoke to that in full swing. <clears throat> um, so I like him, you know, as my winner. Oh, and like as a sleeper, give me a name, you know, we haven't said in terms mm -hmm. of winning a tournament in a while. Um, as <clears throat> Daniel Berger, who missed most of the last two seasons, I believe with a back injury, um, wow. but has won some big tournaments before. Mm -hmm. um, and I think he'll find his way uh, back into the mix as as one of the top uh, golfers in the world. Great picks, dude. I love I love the sleeper. In Will Smith, is this a double play? Yeah, no, he clutched it safe. Safe at first. Uh, so it looks like first and third. Otani at third. Mm -hmm. Two outs here. Top of the fifth. So a crucial situation coming yeah. up. Um, and then I was just going to go to the TV coverage. I would imagine, mm -hmm. you know, after a couple big um, tournaments um, and, you know, March Madness this weekend, mm -hmm. <laughs> the ratings probably won't be great. No, nah, I don't think so. But uh, <clears throat> we'll, we'll give you your options here. I would imagine some golf channel mixed with NBC. Hell yeah, dude. By the way, Josh B. Hyped glass now three walks in four innings pitched, he said. And Bernie in the house saying, "What's up, fellas? What's up, Riley? Riley? Let's go, What's dude. What's up, Riley? With glass now. Honestly, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, Riley. Suck it, dude. Um, you get. <laughs> so uh, your <laughs> typical coverage here: Thursday, Friday, golf, two to six. Saturday and Sunday, one to three on golf, three to six on NBC, and then PGA Tour live coverage, uh, seven thirty. Uh, on Thursday and Friday, seven forty-five Saturday and Sunday. Um, so lots of exposure there. Um, and I really think it's, it's, it's really, uh, been s such a, uh, you know, great idea that they, they put the PGA tour live as part of the ESPN plus package, almost mm -hmm. similar, um, to what they did, um, you know, with the NHL package. Oh so yeah, I dude. I, I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, no, it's dope because I, I, I do, I love it for hockey and then for baseball. I mean, that's like, it's like kind of sick. Yeah, no, it's awesome. It's awesome, honestly. You know, it's just as much Michael. game, many games as possible. Um, and it's a lot of it's funny because a lot of times I do get like annoyed with stream, but I just feel like with ESPN Plus, a lot of times it's like I like it because right. otherwise you wouldn't get to watch it. Yeah, you know yeah, exactly. I mean? It's just when you have like a playoff game on a mm -hmm. streaming service. Yeah, yeah, no, I see what you're saying. Then that is annoying. Um, but it is dope, like you said, you know, during the regular season, you can watch it anywhere, watch any game you want. And I mean, like literally any game, you you know, you watch like Ducks Sharks after the Rangers game because it's like 1030 at night, West Coast game. You're like, this right. is sick, dude. Uh, but I know Michael doesn't know about that. I know more than you. Um, shout out to all everyone watching, by the way. Uh, yeah. Pretty solid, for solid group for this morning, time, huh? dude. Obviously, everyone got up early for the MLB game. Yeah. So, uh, yeah clear, nice yeah. to have Bernie here. I know I was a little late on that, uh, but good to have him. In the Sorry, mix. you're dialed into the game right uh, now. As Will Smith, or no, Max Muncy strikes out. So a big strikeout for De Los Santos. Yeah. We're on to the bottom of the fifth. Love having this. Um, the game's live this early. This yeah, is this is dope. They should have a 6 a.m. game every morning, dude. I mean, I might get into KBO this year. Honestly. Really? Why not? Right, because that's <laughs> this is the time it's on. Yeah, uh, yeah, very true. During, uh, very the COVID true. Era. Um, let's go now to the world of the National Football League. Ah, mm. he wants Jefferson. Climbs the ladder. Oh my goodness, Justin Jefferson, the catch of his life. Fires, intercepted, picked off at a pick six. Make a Fitzpatrick, an absolute ball hawk. Twist up front and gets a tongue to my law. 
Bosa again. Mahomes escaping on the move. Stops, spins, flips it forward for the touchdown. Stop it. Aaron Jones. Oh, what a tackle. Quincy Williams with the pile driver. All right, all right. So a couple of things here uh, in the National Football League. The big news yesterday. Um, the Jets uh, signing former Chargers wide receiver Mike Williams, the first mm. round pick, 2017, seventh overall out of Clemson. The six foot four receiver um, has had two 1,000 yard uh, receiving seasons in his career, uh, 31 touchdowns, um, has struggled with injuries um, at times, only played three games last year before tearing his ACL. Um, it's a one year deal with incentives that could reach $15 million. Um, personally, I love this move. I feel like very limited risk, not a long-term commitment on a one-year deal. And I just think there's so much value in those guys that you could throw the ball to in the red zone at six foot four, jump balls. Um, and I think it's a perfect compliment uh, to Garrett Wilson. Yeah, no, I, I really couldn't agree with you more there. Um, you know, a receiver who's been around a little bit. I know it's tough with Like there are the some people waited. The people were waiting. People were waiting. Uh, we we added people since we left. Wow, dude, people. look at that, dude. We get uh, shout out like, everybody. Like you Truman love, Show, you dude. love to see that. Um, Jay Bird. Jay Bird. What's good, Josh B? He Appreciate adds. Looks guys. like there's some technical difficulties. Barnes on the couch looked weird to me. Anyway. What do you think you mean? Wow, dude. Like Barnes on the that couch looks like a, weird. Uh, wow, what a dig from <laughs> he's saying that uh, that you look better on the table. I guess, man. I guess so. Uh, wow. Any thoughts think, on Mike Williams, Jay, or do you want to just go digs all morning? Wow. Uh, yeah, see, Brian's taking no shit today, dude. Uh, but what about you, Michael? Anything for you on that? Or? Not, not super excited. Um, but I mean, I don't think it's a bad move. No, no? it's not a bad move. But it's yeah. not, it's not a move that. Uh, but I think we need a, no. But I think we need a number two wide receiver. Shakes I mean, it's way better than nest. I mean anybody else we had. Yeah, uh, Jay Bird says Mikey Williams was a huge ad. Yeah, yeah, no, I think I can is. see Jay Bird loving that move. I mean, what, what about you, Tony? No, yeah, no, I totally, I do agree. I mean, I think the one year deal with incentives, I mean, that's that's a it's a bargain bin deal, I feel. And this Here's guy, Tatis, by the way, really is, you sure? Yeah. Really isn't, um, you know, I know like the 
uh, ACL is pretty tough as he grounds out to short. Uh, ACL first tough, pitch over the top of it, dude. Fine. Yeah, exactly. He'll, He'll be ACL. fine, dude. And then, like you said, the height is huge. But uh, yeah, that's the thing. I don't. We don't need him to run down the field. We need him in yeah, the red zone. Exactly. Um, so, I mean, if you use him correctly, it's really what it all comes down to, which obviously we know Sla um, hasn't been doing a great job in using, uh, you know, the players he has uh, in a good manner. So, um, I, you know, obviously he's got to step up hugely this season if we want any success for the Jets. Um, but yes, the pickup, that's a good move. Um, I suppose front office, good job. But, uh, but you know, let's use him right. Now, um, you know, obviously last year, at the start, you had Michael Carter, you had Dalvin Cook. They're no longer with the Jets. So Brees Hall, of course, the bell cow at running back, and Izzy as the backup. Um, but I do feel like they need to add another running back. I don't know if it's like you just go to the draft for that. Um, and I'm almost thinking a power back because, mm. you know, Hall and Izzy are speed guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, yeah, yeah. Um, I definitely agree in terms of getting another running back. I don't yeah. know who's available this draft class or what it's going to really look yeah, like. Yeah, I mean, I think you can um, always. But, I mean, that's like you can always pick up somebody. Like Even you said, a complimentary. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Julius Chestnut maybe. Picking up from the Titans and not using him very well. Um, but, yeah, I mean, of course, you know, you would imagine with Hall, you're probably going to use him a lot. Um, sooner or later, he's going to be banged up. You're probably going to want, yeah, like a tertiary back. Um, like you said, you know, you, you can pick somebody up. You know, it's not really that and, bad. And two guys that I am excited to see what they do, um, I guess second year, I think, for both of them, maybe third year for Gibson, but mm -hmm. Izzy and Gibson, I think they could have underrated roles on this team with their speed. Yeah, and I think Gibson really surprised us this past season. You know, I feel like when the – when he first started out in the season, I think he was just like a special teams guy. Right, but it had the power um, term. Like yeah, football, exactly, dude. Sala. Showcased the athleticism, probably had a great attitude of practice, bringing the vibes. All of a sudden, you find yourself, you know, now, you know, getting some looks in that at offense. Um, Jay Bird says, Julius Chester to the Jets, question mark. Uh, that'd be the move of the century, Jay. Um, you know that, but yeah, excited to see what 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 Gibson mostly, uh, you know, from him uh, puts together this year. And and Jay, what do you think about? We talked about this yesterday. The Jets uh, currently the betting favorites to select uh, tight end Brock Bowers from Georgia uh, with their tenth overall pick. Uh, I love the move. You know, he can split out wide. Um, he's a dynamic receiver and a good blocker. Um, I think that's the tight end the Jets have been looking for for years, Tony, and that really f completes the offense almost. Yeah, I mean. You know, we've seen teams, you know, like the Chiefs, even the Cowboys, um, you know, sometimes even the Ravens to utilize, you know, good, um, you know, route running tight ends. Um, and if you can find that in this guy, I mean, that's, again, another piece that you can have on the field for Rodgers to go to to a quick, a quick pass, you know, yeah. a tight end running over the middle of the field, a huge body like that. I mean, it's hard to defend. Um and, you know, like we were saying, you know, giving Rodgers the most amount of targets as quick as possible, I think should be a huge goal, um, you know, for the Jets right now. Uh, up to this point, obviously, we still have the draft. What would you give uh, the Jets in terms of their their grade? Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, just talk about it now. Maybe like a B minus okay. along the lines. If the, Does the tight end get you to a B plus? I would say so. Yeah, definitely. Um, just because, of course, you know, a lot of moves had been made. Um Four great players, mm -hmm. um, you know, even like necessarily great deals on some players too. And I just feel like the Jets were kind of sitting back for a little while, assessing the situation, which I feel like is never that good, especially I feel like for a team like the Jets, the fan base, we talk about all the time, impatient, you know, you want to hit some, some hard, um, you know, free agency pickups immediately, get some big names, get the team riled, get the fans riled. Um, but of course, right now, you know, it's, it's just like, okay. You know, and, and I think, um, I think though it's been decent. I mean, I, the the offensive line, three offensive linemen, right. you needed that. You can add in the draft. I mean, you look at the amount of picks mm -hmm. they have. Uh, what is it? Seven. Uh, you got a first, a third, two fourths, a six, and two sevens. Right. Um. You know, so I I think you know, in, in a ten, if you get the tight end, I think in the third round you probably take an offensive lineman just because mm -hmm. we can't assume that these guys are going to stay healthy all year, especially Tyron Smith. We know he's had some injuries before, maybe two linemen in the fourth running back in the six. Um, and then, um, you know, a couple just kind of prospects, maybe add to the defense a little bit, but mm -hmm. I, I, I like, I don't know, Tony, like, I guess when you look at the start of free agency, like, mm -hmm. I mean, I know the guys on the line other than Tyron Smith, they were kind of just marginal starters. But I mean, what is it just like you wanted like 
another Pro Bowl like offensive lineman besides Tyron Smith? Is is that what you were looking for up to this point? Um, or? yeah, I forget. Oh, the like the guy that uh, the Lions picked up. Oh, um, Zagler. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I feel like that's someone who like the Jets should have been eyeing up. Um, you know, like a veteran, like old lineman. Um you know, who knows how to pass block and run block and, you know, like, can like obviously like protect your quarterback. Um, like that would be a move. Yeah. That I was like looking at and, to expect anyone, you know, you lost Bryce Huff to the mm -hmm. Eagles, but I think that opens up a role uh, for Will McDonald, uh, the 15th overall selection in last year's draft only had three sacks, but I think his snap count will be up tremendously this year. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's the jets. I don't like right. to get too overexcited, but to be honest, and I'm usually highly critical um, you know, I think they've done a decent job here and let's just have a strong draft. That is the key to how this season goes other mm -hmm. than injury and other than Salah, uh, falling flat on his face, Tony. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, we did have the Browns three years, $58 million with Jerry Judy. Um, and, um, you know, they traded the fifth and sixth round to get him. And I know he hasn't been the model of consistency uh, since being selected by the 15th overall pick by the Broncos in 2020 hasn't had a thousand yard season last Ooh. year yet, but um, you know, last year, 758 yards, but I, I know, I know the ability he has, I, I saw him start Alabama. Um, I really think that's going to turn to be an underrated move uh, this off season. Judy going to the Broncos to pair with Amari Cooper. Um, yeah, I think that is huge. Love Amari Cooper and Judy. You know, I mean, he's still 24 years old. You know, he could have a breakout season. Um, like you said, you saw what he could do in college. I mean, the talent is there. Um, I just maybe him just in the right spot, right? Yeah, would would, would yeah. really help him out. Um, and there was some chatter prior to the Mike Williams signing that the Jets were interested in Odell. I'm kind of thinking because they signed him that they would be out of Odell, but I almost think it's a good move. I know he's kind of been on his best behavior since he left the Giants or left the Browns really and won mm -hmm. the Super Bowl with the Rams. But I just think diminishing player, um, you know, problems with the attitude could pop up. I think we're better off without Odell. Oh, I mean, it's so tough. I mean, I feel like it would be cool to have a man um, of that talent and you know energy in the clubhouse i guess um in the locker room and like you said i mean he's i don't know i mean i guess he's kind of somewhat proven himself in terms of behaving you know and acting maturely but i mean his level of play has been that great so i don't know i mean do you think he's looking for like a big contract like as much as he can get i mean because he's right? kind of getting you know I think what is he 31 at this mm -hmm. point like he's as a receiver that's had a lot of injuries you know yeah. he's kind of up against it a you think bit. he would take a one-year deal oh yeah yeah right but but also too like you know he's obviously at best the third wide receiver you have right. alan lazard that you're guaranteed money to has to be on the roster mm -hmm. might not get a ton of targets and you know how he is uh, i could see that being a problem him not getting the ball much oh yeah you think so yeah um then yeah then forget it dude the last thing you need is like another ego selfish guy in the locker room who's like worried about getting you know receiving yards bolstering his stats so yeah i guess i guess maybe not what do you think michael nay nay right you, you never odell. were an odell guy or mm. i feel like to start off everyone was kind of like an odell guy i mean you know it came out of the scene pretty much and, and i've really said it 800 were. times i was at the game where he had the catch and it was crazy but i always thought when you're doing like the Pissing like a dog and the kicking net. Oh, like, that yeah, was yeah. embarrassing, though. Like that yeah. was really embarrassing. That is embarrassing, dude. I mean, again, like the attitude was just a huge yeah. problem. You know, he yeah. went, he went so high into popularity and then just like went down just as fast, almost. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Not so, a good look. Um, that's really all uh, for uh, the NFL right now. But the draft uh, approaching, and mm -hmm. uh, obviously the big storyline: what's going to happen with the quarterbacks? Teams right. moving up. The Vikings, the Giants, uh, where does J.J. McCarthy go? Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of storylines that we'll monitor. We'll keep you posted. But, Michael, if we could go to the world of Major League Baseball. Wow. Yep, what a play. <laughs> Stop it. Yep. And lots of pricks. Oh. And it works at 100 miles an hour. 14 strikeout. Too deep to left field. There it goes. See ya. All right, all right.
Mets. So Yankees off yesterday, but I did see the Mets picking up the W, I believe 3-1, and Sean Manaya picking up the win. That is correct, dude. Um, you know, we, we talked about how surprising um you know, the Mets starting rotation has been so far, um, and they've continued to, to, to surprise us, I feel, which is kind of crazy. Um, but you know, um not not too surprised they beat up, you know, on Lance Lynn a little bit here. Uh he really has been good all spring training, which is so funny. I feel like I mean, I don't know how the Yankees spring training has been, but I feel like we played the Cardinals like seven times. Yeah, I mean, it's a little, um, you know, because the leagues are split mm -hmm. up. Um, but yeah, you guys are in the Grapefruit League. So yeah, that is kind of weird. Um, seems like the Yankees have had have been spread out. Yeah. You know, I think the, the Yankees and Mets play just once. Once. It is kind of weird. Just that once. That. Yeah, yeah. I, it must be the proximity to Maybe. Spring training. Maybe. And we played the there. Astros quite a few times too. Like, uh, very interesting. Very interesting for sure. But hey, um, you know, I mean, you got to be happy with still how the Mets have been doing. And it looks up, looks like they had somewhat of a projecting, projected starting lineup uh, start yesterday, um, which was looking pretty solid. I mean, the outfield, you know, Bader starting at center, Nimmo in left, uh, Marte in right, you know, McNeil started at second. Um, and everyone was looking pretty, uh, pretty tip top. Honestly, Marte, I will say, as hard as I've been on him, because, you know, he's been missing a lot of time, the age, the groin. I mean, he's, he is moving pretty well. Um, in the outfield right now uh now a couple of things here so uh with bader i mean mm -hmm. what have you seen out of him from the at-bats that he's gotten um from the at-bats i mean been kind of inconsistent i feel like this this spring training um i mean i feel like he does do a good job in like drawing walks sometimes not his eye looks good in terms of laying off pitches um but then it seems like maybe behind on the fastball okay is what i would say because I feel like he's striking out a lot, swinging at the high fastball, and it's just he's either underneath it or behind on it. Uh, so really, I is that a way of saying like you're there's not really an expectation for you with him offensively, like to have a productive year? Or? Um, well, I mean, I don't know. Hopefully, maybe he can get his hands around a little bit quicker and just try and get the ball on the ground, get on base, use some speed. Um, I mean, I have, I, I have higher hopes for him average wise, I guess. More expectation for him or Marte? Marte. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, and uh yesterday, who did anybody of consequence uh you know score the runs or um Alonzo had an RBI horse I want to say it was a single, nothing crazy. I saw Josh B take Alonzo in the draft last night. Oh, he did? Yeah. Nice dude. Um, yeah, again, another player. I, I must have been running my mouth. I'm like, oh, I think I might take Alonzo next uh, up. And then, oh my gosh, he's gone. Uh, but Brett Beatty did hit, I want to say, his second home run of spring training yesterday, um, which is great. Again, I think he's definitely stepped up a little bit. Um, but hey, I mean, again, that's what we saw from him last spring training, too. Um, it, it's, I, I want to see him get some regular season games in and, and, and be consistent there in the big leagues. Um, but yeah, I'd be excited for that. Um, and then, uh, Bader had one hit, you know, I mentioned that, but other than that, you know, it was a three, two game. So not a ton of scoring. Um, so yeah, dude, so there we go. So we, I guess I mean, I'm a, maybe a little bit more excited for Beatty. Um, I think having competition at third base is important. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, and it looks like Vientos is honestly going to be the, uh, the prime guy for DHing. Which so is, no JD Martinez. No, doesn't seem like it, dude. I will hope it goes somewhere. Cause I have him on my fantasy team. I mean, you, you would think him? you you would think he's gonna him and Monty must have sign to, him by yeah, the weekend, yeah, yeah. They really, they really must, dude. Um, and the the Mets back in action today. Tonight, Miami. I want to say. You mean Miami? Uh, my my Miami, dude. Wow, we'll get, uh, uh, Matt getting the phrases yeah. in today. Um, let's see. I believe it should be the Marlins. Um. Oh. Oh yeah, it is Miami. Um, and I, of course, ESPN, got to go to MLB if you want to look at the pitching. Um, sorry, stand by, guys. Oh. While Tony's looking that up, 2-1 Padres going to the bottom of the sixth. Oh, no. Tyler Glass now two runs over five innings, four walks, three strikeouts, 77 pitches in his Dodger debut. Uh, scoring on a Bogart single that made it one nothing Padres. Hayward tied it up with a sack fly to tie the game at one, and then the double play by Camposano um, made it two one Padres. And we are on to uh, the bottom of the six here as Jake Crowenworth 
uh, steps up to the dish? Um, Christian Scott is getting the start tonight for the Mets. Never heard dude. of him. Yeah, 6'4", 24-year-old um, minor league guy. Okay. So I guess he's getting a little bit of, uh, of a chance here to, to prove something. Uh, Ryan Brazier, by the way, on, on the way to pitch, um, you know, pitching now for the mm-hmm. Dodgers, the former Red Sox. Last question for you regarding the Mets. Uh, Alvarez, end of the season, where do you mm-hmm. think he ends up in the batting order? In the batting order? By the end of the year. <sighs> um, but, uh, let's, let's say fifth. I, it's funny. I yeah. was going to say fifth. I yeah, think yeah. Perfect spot for I him. I think so, too. No reason to have him lower than that. Honestly. Um, yeah. And you, you expect him to do well. And, I mean, I, I think really all of last season he was batting like seventh Cronenworth or eighth. strikes so. out again. I don't know why. I picked him up just to have some guys playing. Oh, you did? Like yeah. In, in a different league. And it's like, come on. Like, that is tough, He dude. sucks. He had that one good year. They gave him the extension. And yeah. Just not not good. Not good. Um, so yeah, I, I think big year for Alvarez, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, Yankees off yesterday, back mm-hmm. today, judge supposed to be in the lineup. I guess they said four out of the last six spring training games as Machado oh. steps up to the dish, uh, that he'll be in the lineup. So it'd be good to get him back out there as he takes a uh, high for ball one. Uh, Marco Gonzalez for Pittsburgh pitching against Luke Weaver for the Yankees. Mm-hmm. Uh, George M Steinbrenner field, uh, tonight. So, um, you know, and Weaver uh, hasn't had a good spring. I mean, obviously finished the season strong um, with the Yankees last year when they were out of it. But I would really prefer, um, you know, him not to be uh, on the roster. I mm-hmm. just think we have a lot of young pitching prospects. If we can just get away with stashing him in AAA, um, I think that would be ideal because I think he's more of a depth guy. And I, I would love to see as Machado grounds of the third. Mm-hmm. I'd love to see Warren or Beater or Heal. Uh, make the roster and heels been throwing smoke. I don't know if you've seen that. He's hitting like a hundred on the gun, uh, like striking out a ton of guys. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know if he did pitch an inning against the Mets or maybe there was one win where he did really well. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was seeing a lot of Luis heel um, talk. Remember so, getting I mean, Rob from too. that one time when we were over your, your old apartment. Yeah. Yeah. That was like two seasons ago. Yeah. 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 So Tommy funny. John last yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens. Um, and we get closer and closer to the rest of the league. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, starting their seasons. I don't know why they don't just do this like when the teams do the exhibition games, like when the Yankees are in Mexico City. Do do it then. Why a week early? They're actually going to play some spring training games after this series is over. That's so odd to me. And then why, it's like why? you cut your rosters down for this series, but then you're going to spin it back. I don't know. It just asked backwards if you ask Literally me. Literally asked backwards. Um, and I, we, we missed it, but I guess they were interviewing Manfred about the future of these series, if it's a success, blah, blah, of blah. Course. But it's like, come on, international series, sports league, there's going to be more. They can't stop. Mm-hmm. Do you like money? Again, Matthewism. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Um, but, yeah, that's that's really our, where we are for uh, baseball. Mm-hmm. Uh, but let's go now to the world of the National Hockey League. Are you kidding me? Turn. Side of the net. Between the legs and they score! Nothing! David Pasternak. The silver trophy to the Golden Knights. All right, all right. So as we said yesterday, a loaded slate uh, in the National Hockey League. Uh, last night, of course, our focus uh, on the New York Rangers as they fall at the Garden uh, four to two, Hellebuck, an unbelievable game uh, for the Jets, uh, 38 saves. Uh, and, you know, it was a game that had a scoreless first period. Um, you know, Sheffley uh, got the scoring going for Winnipeg mm-hmm. in the second. Early Wenberg answered, yes, the Rosen power play goal, mm-hmm. um, which tied the game at one. But then oh, then Connor with the answer, his 30th goal of the year, again a power play, made it 2-1 Jets. Um, and then Sheffley, uh, another goal there to make it uh, three to one. And then Laffey in the third early on made it three two, but unfortunately, um, empty netter end of the game, icing it. The Hattie Boom Batty for Josh B with Sheffley, um, it's 22nd goal of the year, made it four two Winnipeg. That is the margin uh, that they win by. So a tough loss for the Rangers here. Um, Igor, 23 of 26 in net. Uh, you mentioned being down a couple defensemen. I mean, uh, what what stood out to you in this one, Tony? 
I mean, it did definitely feel like the Rangers were chasing a lot all game. Um, you know, you mentioned giving up a couple power play goals. I feel like they were on the power play maybe two or three times um, in the first period. Um, and, and again, throughout, throughout the entire game, and I just feel like, like I said, they were always chasing. Um, and I think that because of the fact that they were down two defensemen, I mean, Jacob Truba, um, you know, Lindgren, those are two super, super gritty defensemen um, who are in, you know, the shooting lanes, blocking shots, disrupting neutral zone advancement by another team. Not to mention they're eating up a lot of minutes. You know, you, you had a couple guys that you had to bring up. Um, Ruedel, I think is how you pronounce his name. Um, that was his first start, you know, ever. Um, so obviously he's not going to be stepping into Linger and shoot. He's not going to be stepping into Truba's shoes. You know, you're, you're down your captain. Um, and then, like I said, another great defenseman, you know, I can't really overstate that, um, that you're missing two key cogs in your defense and wouldn't you know it, you know, you're, you're struggling in terms of giving up chances against a really good team out of the West. Um, so, I mean, uh, again, you know, maybe we were a little overzealous in terms of thinking, um, you know, the Rangers could get past Hellebuck a little bit easier. Um, you know, I forget who in the chat was talking about Hella getting the Vesna trophy this season. Um, you know, he's boasting tremendous numbers four shutouts is tied for fourth in the league, 923 save percentage. That puts him at second in the league goes against 2.3 second in the league. And then his record, um, is, is, is third in the league. So not only is he doing well, but the Winnipeg jets are doing great as a team as well. So it was one of those nights where, you know, Connor certainly stepped up to the occasion, um, of the Rangers because the Rangers ha did have their own chances. I feel like. Like, you know, that first period, there was some back and forth in terms of breakaways. Like I said, I, we, you know, we saw Cooley with a chance on a breakaway. We saw, you know, Panarin and Trocek get a two on one opportunity. And it was Hellbuck over and over again, coming up with huge saves uh, to keep, you know, Winnipeg in this game. I mean, it wasn't, you know, it's not it's not a crazy loss to fathom. Um, and, you know, like you were saying, you know, Lafreniere, you know, a minute and a half, you know, Igor's pulled extra man on the ice. Lafreniere makes it three, two. Um, it was a one goal game with a minute and a half left. You know, the Rangers definitely gave it. They're all there. Um, but of course, you know, like, like Winnipeg, is just a, a great team. And, and last night they were better, but I mean, yeah, it's, it's one of those games that could be, you know, I guess it could be a, a Stanley cup matchup in theory, but like I said, a seven game series. I mean, it's, it's not like the Rangers are going to get swept here. So they put up a great fight. Unfortunately, you couldn't find the win there. Um, but you know, you're on to the next one, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, so basically you're saying, um, nothing to be concerned about here. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say nothing. Cause you know, you're going to be without Lindgren for a little bit. They're saying up until playoffs basically. And you know, you never know, you know, it's give, or, give or take, uh, I think troopers been skating. I think they're thinking like, I think I heard another week. Okay. Maybe so, I mean, that's not, terrible. um, so that's not terrible. You'd be getting him back for some reinforcements, um, but you still want to, you know, instill some type of, of, you know, urgency in this defense. You know, you, you can't just all rely on Gustafson and, and Miller right now. They're going to need some help from some younger guys. Um, you know, Zach Jones probably being one of them. He had an okay game, um, but he's going to have to step up, you know, because the other guy is a little bit younger than him. Even though Zach Jones is young for a season um, or maybe like first full season, whatever. Um, but, you know, he's he's, he's got to lead those, those young defensemen. You know, he's got to be a little bit of an example. Um, on the ice. And of course, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, I understand, you know, Connor Hellbuck, great game, but um, Rangers have to figure out a way to score. You know, you mentioned Wenberg's goal. Um, I think that was off a greasy rebound. So, I mean, that that's the type of goals you want to look for. So like, like figure that out, you know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah, definitely, definitely tough. Um, we have about five minutes here, by the way, Brian. Okay. But, um, you know, would like to, um, you know, a uh, rebound next time in Boston because mm -hmm. then you're home to Florida who Need it. beat you last time. Yeah. So, um, you know, we'll have to see what happens. Um, but and it, by the way, too, I don't know if you saw this, but Wandy Peralta making his uh, Padres debut. Oh, wow. Uh, got Shoei Otani uh, to ground out. Now he's battling. Uh, <sighs> well, he was battling with Freddie Freeman before mm -hmm. uh, letting him on base because of a pitch clock violation, which is uh, actually kind of crazy. Um but uh, yeah, we can um, you know just to speed things up here, we can um, you know update the the standings mm -hmm. tomorrow. But obviously, we'll make our picks for tonight. Only uh, three games uh, on the docket: yeah. doubleheader on TNT, Maple Leafs Capitals, followed by Wild Kings, and then the ESPN power play um, game uh, between the Coyotes and the Stars. But uh, Michael, 
can we can we get you to strike up the music? What do we got? Hell yes, dude. Excited One for second. the frenzy, dude. Um, it's Wednesday, Brian. You didn't say it was hump day today, by the way. You must have forgot early. Well, we got five minutes. Baseball, no dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Mike, it's on the um, uh, second page, maybe. NHL tonight, I think maybe it's labeled. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go, baby. In Washington, nation's capital, Toronto, coming in there to think that they can beat the Caps. Uh, they made the Washington home dogs tonight, plus 120. Uh, this is 7.30, by the way, around the league here. Not a ton um, of games. Ovechkin coming off that two game, uh, two goal game, excuse me, in a win against Calgary. We mentioned the Caps heating up there on a three game win streak. Uh, Maple Leafs just dropped back to back games. What do you think is going to happen here for the Maple uh, Leafs? They're winning as Wandy Peralta getting out of the gym. Uh, going to miss him on the Yankees this year. But anyway, Maple Leafs handily over the Caps. I know they won three in a row. Yada, 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 Tony. But not tonight. Maple Leafs back in the winner's circle with a vengeance. Uh, we're going to say 5-3 in the nation's capital. Um, I do love that over under 6.5, by the way, dude. I would say it goes over Maple Leafs. I don't know about you, but I figure there'd be a lot of scoring between both teams. Um, next one up in Dallas here as the Stars take on the Coyotes. You know, the Stars are obviously going to be favorites. Minus 280 here at home. Coyotes abysmal over under 6.5. Stars beat them in OT last time out back in November, four to three. Um, wow, the Coyotes actually come off back to back victory. Say about that, scoring eight goals in the past two games. Can they score against Dallas, though? No, uh, Stars and the under. I know they've had a couple good last games, but not so fast, Tony. I think the Stars easily here uh, win this game four to one. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, definitely Stars, obviously. Um, Last well, game went over. All right, I'll take the under two. Um, I just don't think Coyotes are going to score again often. No way. Stars under. Let's go. Next game. Final game. 10 p.m. TNT. Hockey Nights game on this hump day. Dude, LA at minus 155 will be hosting the Minnesota Wild. And they pounced on them the first time they saw them. Um, the Kings that has beat them seven to three. Um, so they should handle them again. But the Wild winning four of their last five games, just shutting out Anaheim last night. So they're on the back to back. What do you think about that, Brian? Yeah, I think you would be out of your mind to take the Kings here at minus 155 on the back to back. Um, give me the Wild. I think they're the better team. Um, and I like Kaprizov in this one. Um, and I'm going to say, give me the over as well. Um, and I'm going to say, Two goals for Kaprizov as Minnesota uh, wins six to two in Los um, Angeles. I'll say give me the Kings and the over. Um, I do like the six to two score, but obviously I'll be taking the Kings there. More depth on the team, more depth in terms of goaltending, which will help them on this back to back here. Um, so, yeah, Kings and the over. And that is your hockey frenzy. Um, yeah, so short and time. sweet. Um, and two bonus picks, Tony, on the way out um, for March Madness here. Mm -hmm. Playing games. Uh, Battle of the 16s. Mm -hmm. Grambling State versus Montana State. Uh, Montana State, four and a half point favorites here. 17 and 17 versus 20 and 14. What do you got? Uh, give me Montana. Come on, dude. Montana, Let's go. Montana. Uh, I will then take Grambling, and then I get first pick in the night game. I already took Colorado on the money line. Uh, so I like them over the Boise State Broncos. I'm guessing you would like to oppose um, with Boise. Uh, yeah, I'll take the Boise. Let's go, dude. All right. And that is your March Madness friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's that's really, um, you know, what we have here. Mm -hmm. Obviously, um, a lot to discuss tomorrow as, uh, you know, the first round of the Valspar will be underway. Uh, but definitely shout out to all the fans who tuned in. A lot mm -hmm. of views this morning. I know it's not easy. Getting up at this hour, I'm sure a lot Hell of people yeah. getting ready to go to work, this and that. So to give us your time this morning, uh, we gratefully appreciate it. Yeah, no, uh, likewise, uh, always a pleasure. You know, it gives me the drive to keep doing this when I see the people interacting with us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, and it's amazing over the years how that's grown and yeah. grown and grown. Uh, so shout out to Chad. Yeah, shout out to Chad. Shout out to all the fans. Um, Michael, anything before we wrap up? I care more than Tony.
Wow. Yeah. That's a little bit of a shot, huh? Um, I, I mean, I don't really take it as one, dude. I mean, you know, I just <laughs> I don't I mean, I know that I really am better. So I don't know. Oh, actually, in all seriousness, uh, what are we thinking start time for game court? I almost forgot. Um I uh, uh, uh six thirty. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. We'll keep you updated too. MLB um, in the terms show. Of our shoot twenty four. So stay tuned. Dinner time with the downtime TV crew gaming corner. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, and once again, uh, we appreciate everybody tuning in this morning and continuing to comment, like, and subscribe. All of the archives on the YouTube page. Tony, Michael, Renee, and Jay in costume mm -hmm. merch. DowntimeTV.com. Want everybody to enjoy the day. Enjoy the games. Let's go Yankees. Let's go Mets. And we will see you. Manana. Hey guys, Tony here from Downtime TV checking in. I want to thank all our fans out there who's been liking, subscribing, sharing our content. You guys are the best. You guys are our bloodline. You make us love what we do. 